Hey guys, welcome to ExcelForNoobs.com. What I'm going to do here is just a, a quick like crash course on Microsoft Excel 2013. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you some formulas. I'm going to, going to um, create a sales forecast and um, with some assumptions. I'm going to show you how to refer to different cells using formulas and then some different types of formatting. And um, also uh, conditional formatting. And... Uh, go a little bit over charts and graphs and also formatting um, formatting your charts and by the end of this you should be pretty familiar with Excel and know how to navigate through it alright so the first thing I'm going to do is just cover some simple formulas formulas are really what makes Excel you know so powerful it's that you can refer to different cells um, to and, and um, you're basically a certain cell can derive its data by referring to other cells whether it's um, contextual data numerical values or formulas okay so the first thing I'm going to do is go over some formulas just the basic alright so to enter a formula into Excel you always have to hit the equal sign first um, and that's going to in the cell that's going to command that cell to be a formula but let me go ahead and enter some um, some numbers in here first into the cells. So right here, I'm moving it over by hitting the right arrow. I'm not using my mouse. I'm hitting the right arrow on the keyboard, and I'm just hitting some random numbers using the left arrow now. Okay, that's enough numbers. All right, so the first uh, the first type of formulas I'm going to go over. Um, is uh, addition. So addition, you can uh, just hit the equals and then you can click on a cell plus and then the other cell you're referring to. So right here this formula is referring to cell E5 and cell F5 and um, to get the sum of cell E5 and F5 I just hit equals E5 plus F5. Enter and there's my result. I'll just go ahead and label that too. Okay. You can do, you can also do multiple cells. Equals, just as I did before. Plus, and I just continue doing this until I have all the cells that I want to add. And there you have the result again. Now, another way to do addition is to just, <clears throat> is to basically do equals sum. And then, I, and then I'm going to close that in parentheses. So I hit equals, I type in the word sum, and then parentheses. Inside the parentheses, I select all of these cells. And then I close the parentheses. And now I have the sum of all the cells that I want to add. All right, and then another way to add cells is to use the auto sum feature. And you can go here in the formulas tab. This up here is called the ribbon. And these are where most of your commands are. You have different tabs. But here in the formula um, in the formula tab, you can see a command called auto sum. I just hit auto sum. Actually, I don't even need to hit the uh, I don't even need to enter the equal symbol. I just select the cell. And I hit auto sum and enter. And it automatically sums all of the um, uh, all the cells that contain numbers. So um, in an adjacent row or column. And that would be the same thing if I were to enter auto sum here. It, Excel can detect that there's numbers in the uh, rows above it adjacent to each other. So I would just hit auto sum and there I have the sum. All right. If you want to do subtraction in Excel, it's pretty simple. Just remember you have to hit the equal sign first. And then we're going to have this cell minus this cell. All right, if you want to keep doing it, equals, then minus, you just continue. And then you, there you have, uh, you have your result. You've subtracted all of those cells from each other. And it's going to do this in order, obviously, 5 minus 7 minus 2 minus 4, and there's your result. Okay. Now, that, now we're going to go over multiplication. And the way you do multiplication is equals, just as we always do. And um, say that cell, referring to cell C5, using the 
asterisk or the star symbol and then we hit the other cell we want to multiply it by and that's how you do multiplication and then you know obviously you can do as many as you want just as we did before All right. another way to do multiplication is to use the product formula and there you can see that it pops up and it gives us uh, recommendations alright so we uh, select our first number and you can see right here there's a little drop down uh, box that just uh, tells you what enters you know tells you how to enter the formula so right there number one is going to be our first let me zoom in a little bit too number one is going to be our uh, our first number that we're multiplying and then we hit a comma and our second number and then we can close that and we have the product or we can do multiple and there we have our result of 280 All right, um, and then finally, we'll go over division. There's some other ones I'm going to cover, but division is simple. We just equals, take a number, any you know, anywhere in here. Um, six, then we just do the forward slash for divide, two. And then you have your result. And then you can also do the quotient formula. same thing. First your numerator right here tells you to enter your numerator comma and your denominator and there you have your result again same result. Alright um, let's see another one we have is average. What if we want to get the average of some numbers so average and we can find the average of all these numbers inside the uh, quote the parentheses. We're going to go ahead and select all the numbers or all the cells we want to average. And we have our average. So the average of these right, these numbers right here is 4.5. And of course we can we could do all the cells. We wanted to. Now it's 5.5 if we averaged all of these cells. <clears throat> and then obviously you can um, combine formulas. You got to be, uh, you got to, it's important to know the order of operation, know how to use your parentheses. So if you don't know that, you might need to go study up on some math lessons. I do have a video somewhere on my channel you can find it uh, that uh, goes over the order of operations but um, it's definitely important for you to have a basic understanding of arithmetic here alright so let's just say I wanted to multiply these two cells and add it to the sum of these two cells alright I could do and that's in parentheses plus put that in parentheses and then I can also combine the um, different formulas I can do the same thing by saying equals product and that's going to be the product of those two plus the sum of these two cells and I can continue doing this I could also say minus you know minus a cell plus the quotient and then I'd have to 
you know, I'm just I'm just picking random cells, but I'm I'm showing.